Hello, it's Sarah, and I have one more video today. I just wanted to come back real quick and show you that I did the book the way I actually messed up a little bit because this side I taped off this far, and that's the back because it says dream that way. So this would be the front, which I kind of don't mind because I can put tiles then um, and by tiles. Okay, let me back up. I got, I showed this book in my haul video. It's one of the ones from Michaels. It's like a magnetic um, storage book, right? And I wanted to put tiles on here. When I talk about tiles, those of you who haven't seen, I do polymer clay tiles. So it would be something like this. I'm gonna cover it or, well my book is in the other room. I think I'm going to use these tiles, the Faith Blessings. I'm going to put these on the front, all mixed around with different uh, stuff. But anyway, I like how it turned out. Um, so that's ready to go. Then, <laughs> I told you I had, I wanted to do, while the mixed media was still on my desk, do one more uh, mixed media and I did these ATC cards. I just put um, napkin and then I used my Jacquard Lemire paints. This is halo pink gold and this is halo blue gold and the blue gold it's kind of like a greenish blue and the pink is like a pinkish gold and orange it's really pretty so that's what i used on the background for them and that's why they're so highly uh see look at that wow that's a lot so those were just two atcs that i prepped and then i did this little box and i like how it turned out i wasn't thrilled i think it's growing on me i love the background and i wish i could have shown you before i actually finished it i just painted it gold inside I painted it pink on the sides. I stamped um, just a script stamp and then I embossed with clear embossing and I rubbed orange, uh, where is it? This. I rubbed some orange ink of gold because I'm into the pink and orange. I, I missed the boat with the pink and orange. I even did the same thing to the knob. I put little hearts on there that I put ink of gold on. I did the same thing to both sides. Uh, so I painted the inside gold and then on the outside I did the same treatment as I did to these ATCs. So it really looked cool even before I put anything on there but then I found these other stamps. I love these butterflies. This is a, uh, these are, I don't know, a stamp set. I, I want to say Hero Arts, but don't I'm not positive. Actually, it's a Sizzix set, so it comes with this flower. So if anyone recognizes it, it has like three different butterflies and then this flower. Um, and it has the dyes with it. And I don't remember the brand, but the packaging. Where is the packaging? Here. Hey, right here. It is Sizzix and Hero Arts. Anywho, I just stamped out some butterflies, and then I had these... Uh, these flower stamps and I just uh, I didn't Mod Podge them on I did use matte medium and then I painted them so basically what I've been doing with the ATC's only in a larger version I did think about just punching out flowers like these because I have a punch like that but I ended up using these stamps and maybe they're a little big I'm not sure and then I, of course, stickle everything and put Wink of Stella on the butterflies. So, I mean, it's cute. I just had to do it before I moved on to clay. So tomorrow, I will be starting clay. I'm gonna. I'm thinking I'm gonna make the tiles first, um, and then I'm gonna move on from there. So uh, there you go, you clay people, who you have that to look forward to. All right, and I did use my um, feud ball pen. No, that's not it. Hello, where is it? Oh my God, my desk is a mess. Because I didn't use, I wanted to definitely, I made sure to use the feud ball 
because, uh, and again, those of you who didn't see my haul, this is a new pen that I got, the Feud Ballpoint Pen 1.5. I got these on Amazon. Um, instead of the Scarlet Lime Pen, I used the Feud, and you can tell that it's like thicker lines. So I'm not sure what the deal is. I mean, I like it. Let me know what you think. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.